worshipping. While he walked this earth, he never made such a statement. Of course, our brother has a chance, my brother Shorosh, of coming back and perhaps he might be able to point out to me in case he had overlooked it. The nearest he came to that was a quotation from the book of Revelation where it is supposed to be the words of Jesus where he says, I am Alpha and Omega, meaning I am the first and the last. Now this book of Revelation was a dream was a dream in which John, in the dream, he saw a vision in which he saw animals with eyes inside and eyes outside and horns with eyes on it. All this is a man, if he eats too much, he gets that type of experiences. <laughs> but while Jesus walked this earth, we will analyze what he actually said and what he did. Now the idea of the Holy Trinity in which the Christian, the bulk of Christendom, including the Anglican Church, the Roman Catholics, the Presbyterians, the Lutherans, the Methodists, almost as a whole, they believe in this thing called the Holy Trinity. In the Christian Catechism of the churches, they say, I'm quoting, that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But there are not three gods, but one God. This is the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But there are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It, it continues. I am quoting the Catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But there are not three persons, but one person. I am asking, what language is that? Is that English? It sounds English, but this is not English. Person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, what language is that? What is a person in your language, you English people? Tell me, you Americanized Englishman. Tell me, what is a person in your language? If you and your two other brothers are identical triplets, we can't make out the difference between the three of you. You are all identical. If one of you commit murder, I am asking, can we hang the other? You say, no. I say, why not? You all look alike. So he tells me, no, he is a different person. What makes him a different person? It is his personality. If the personality is different, he is different. And when you say, the Christian says, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I say, you have three distinct mental pictures in your mind. When you say Father, you don't think of the Son. When you say the Son, you don't think of the Holy Ghost, are you? There are, and these three pictures, you can never superimpose and create one. There will ever be three in your mind, unless the mind is diseased. You say these three I see as one. The three will ever remain three. Now, as far as the Muslim is concerned, believing that any human being, any human being is God or is equating with God, it is an act of treason against God. Whether it's a Hindu idea of a God incarnate, or whether it is a Christian idea of a God incarnate, God becoming a man, the Holy Quran says, Lakat kafar al qalu inna Allaha huwal Masih ibn Maryam. Said, whosoever says that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is God, they are making kufr. It's an act of blasphemy. It's a treason against God. Waqal al Masih, but Christ said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, La Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord. Inna hu man yushrik billah, whoever will associate anyone with Allah, Fakad haram Allah will jannah, Allah will make jannah haram for them. Heaven will be forbidden for them. Wa ma'awah nar, and the fire of hell will be the dwelling place. Pamal is zalim in Amin Ansar and for the wrongdoers there will be no one to help. And Jesus Christ, He is speaking about the Father in heaven. He is your Father and my Father. Again and again, in the Gospel of St. Matthew, if you start taking stock from chapter 1 verse 1, you will come across this phrase, your Father, 
thy father, your father, thy father, 13 times before the first time he says, my father. It's an amazing situation. That 13 times the man is telling you that God Almighty is the father of everybody. Metaphorically, he is the creator, sustainer, evolver, cherisher of everybody. He is the father of everybody, but physically he does not beget. Because begetting is an animal act. It belongs to the lower animal functions of sex. And we were not to attribute such a quality to God, that God begot a son. Though the Christians keep on repeating the words, Son of God, Son of God, Son of God. So he said, what about Adam? He said, how many sons has he got? The bulk of Christendom will tell you one. I said, you're not reading your Bible. You don't read your Bible properly. You know, God has got sons by the tons in the Bible. By the tons. You know, tons the old measurement of weighing things. Tons. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. It says, And the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them to wife all that they chose. And when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and brought children to them, they became great men of old, old men of renown. In the book of Exodus, God says, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. In the book of Je Jeremiah says, Ephraim is my son, even my firstborn. In the New Testament we are told, as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Every Tom, Dick and Harry, if you follow the will and plan of God, you are a godly person. In the language of the Jew, in the idiom of the Jew, he says, son of God, meaning a righteous person. But the Christian says, no, 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 no. Jesus is not like that. He's begotten, not made. So I'm asking, please explain to me. I'm asking the English-speaking people. Please explain to me, what are you trying to emphasize? When you tell me he is begotten, not made, what are you really trying to tell me? And believe me, no Christian in 40 years has been able, able to open his mouth to tell me what it means. It had to be an American, not Brother Sharosh. It had to be an American. He said, it means sired by God. I said, what? He said, no, 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 you ask me what it means. I'm only telling you what it means, not that I believe that God sired a son. So, he says, Jesus Christ, I don't know, this to the Muslim is a blasphemy, to say that Jesus is God. But there is another blasphemy from the Christian point of view. You see, the Christian, the Orthodox Christians, the, the Anglican Christians, the Methodists, and all the Roman Catholics, they all believe in the Holy Trinity, and they say that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity. You never hear the word is in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. You'll never hear in the name of the Holy Ghost and the Son and the Father. Never. You'll never hear in the name of the Son and the Holy Ghost and the Father. It must ever be in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. He is always the second person of the Trinity. If anybody in Christendom says that Jesus is the Father, it is a heresy in the Christian church. From the Muslim point of view, attributing divinity to any created being is blasphemy, kufr. But from the Christian point of view, from the church's point of view, Anglican, Methodist, Lutheran and all, if anybody says, has the temerity to say that Jesus is the Father, it is an ancient heresy which was condemned and extirpated by the Roman Catholic Church over a thousand years ago. They got rid of it. Where you say, and our brother Shorosh, my brother Shorosh, I don't know why he hid that fact, that he actually believes that Jesus is the Father. In his book, The Liberated Christian, in case he has forgotten it, he might not have brought it along, I brought it along with me, the liberated Christian. Palestinian. Uh, the liberated Palestine, I beg your pardon. With the Star of David in the background, I don't know, liberated from the Jews or liberated from what? Liberated Christian. He says, I'm quoting from page 80, it's a most loving heavenly father. 
I thank you for the miracles you have done in my life. The greatest miracle of, miracle of all was that you loved me enough to die for me. Who the father died for him. And this is in church history, as Master of Divinity, Brother Shoroshi will be able to confirm, is an ancient heresy which is called patripassianism or monarchianism.